What's up, LinkedIn slash YouTube? Uh, another video. Um, yeah, so for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and briefly discuss the importance of um, create of creating original ideas and concepts, or the idea of, of a creator from the conception of an ADD perspective, because it. This is one of the few things that I'm actually good at is making new things. I, I'm able to make new concepts, new ideas. I'm, a, I'm an idea generator in that respect is one of my latent strengths and, and horrendous weaknesses. Um, and it's ironic too because I'm making this because I'm not able to really focus on my homework all that well. Well, moderately, but not what it should be, of course. Um, so this is my effort to keep this day productive. So you know you have a general context of Drew right now being distracted. So here it is right now, me failing at this present moment in time, still being productive. You have no fucking excuse. You have no excuse not to be not productive. I'm being distracted and still being productive. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and discuss uh, creating ideas and being a creator. So one thing you need to realize about being a creator of concepts and ideas, or just like innovating and in entrepreneurial and ambitions, etc., whatever it is you wanna do, is that you need to be disgustingly curious about everything. That's what makes people with ADD so like, freaking good at entrepreneurial entrepreneurs, at least the hyperactive type, is that we're able to latch on to ridiculous amounts of information and we can connect these ideas to other ideas because we never stop thinking. I never ever stop thinking. And you might be saying, Drew, everyone thinks all the time. No, I think way more than you think. I think 10 times more than you think. And what that means is, is that I get all the unfiltered stuff from my subconscious that normally is filtered in your guys' brains, I get all of it. I get everything. Everything to me seems important. So I want to do everything on the list. Henceforth, why I, I, I know so much about every other topic because I want to read, I want to know everything. I want to know everything about that person, why they're doing that, what did they, where did they get that information from, how did they learn it, how long did they take them. These are all the steps I'm thinking right now when I'm making this video, right here, right now. It's, all the steps I'm thinking, and I'm able to relate that to other concepts, and academically speaking, this can be latently useful because you're able to innovate in the field, assuming you can finish it though. So, that's the con. So if you're a neurotypical, then you need to desystematize your, your, your way of thinking to a more, a more non-linear fashion if you want to. I don't know, be creative because you guys want to believe we're creative. So you can be creative too. It's not really that difficult. All you have to do is read consistently. So the first thing you need to do is have a ridiculous amount of curiosity. You need to be curious about everything. If you're just watching TV and sitting on your ass, then that's not going to help you at all. Two, you need to make sure that you hoard tons of information. I do it naturally. If you can do it intentionally, you'll be, you'd be more creative than me, purposefully. And you could carry out the the the, uh, the idea, execute it. Three, you need to be able to connect two unrelated concepts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and give you an example. So two concepts people believe are entirely distinct, but they're not distinct. Is is re here? Here's an example of me making a connection. Relationships, economics. These two, two factors appear to be two separate entities, but in reality, they're one and the same. So I might say that in relationships, there's a supply and demand of relationships because when you get in a relationship, a person wants a certain amount of affirmation, intimation, and they want intimacy in exchange for another product, good, or service. Now, regardless whether that's a correct Connection or not, it's irrelevant to my mind because it appears to be connected because it is connected. Okay, so that's the, the type of jubilant assertions 
that you need to make, the things you need to connect. If you do that, you will be a creator. And once you're a creator, people are gonna hate you. They don't like people. People who are creators disturb the status quo. And that's how you get wealthy. That's how you become, make a name for yourself. That's how you make prestige is by, by not working for somebody else. And invariably speaking, if you can execute your, those ideas, you will become very successful if you can execute the idea. And the first step is finding a good idea. I have a ridiculous amount of good ideas. I just don't execute them because they all take an obscene amount of time to do. So, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any more questions or thoughts or concerns on being able to increase your creativity, I assure you I can easily cre uh, increase your creativity for you. It's not that difficult. <laughs> so um, that is all the only thing you need to. Thank you.